disclaimer, we are about to play a horror game that contains flashing lights, loud noises, and unsettling visual content. Please refrain from playing if you believe these elements may negatively affect you. This is an early access demo. Content shown is subject to change or removal in the future updates. Hello everybody, my name is Crispy. And I've been waiting for a while to say that because it's been a, it's been a minute, you know, I've been busy. But my name is Crispy and welcome to Shadows Awaken. What I hope to be the best FNAF fan game that we get for a while. Which is hopefully true, but I'm, I'm sure we'll, you know, get some contenders. Um, Shadows Awaken is like a, I'm pretty sure it's a PT kind of like horror game. Um, if you don't know what PT is, then you've been li living under a comically sized rock. For space to proceed. It's been years. Michael. What? Your eyes, they're getting dull. They hold power, a sight that cuts through reality. You've seen them before, haven't you? The shadows, the whispers in the dark. My, my eyes? There are things unseen from most, yet you see their shade. The shadows hide in the dark, but your eyes, they cut through it. They always have. It's becoming weak. What do you want from me? Why are you telling me this? The light. Your eyes need the light. A, a light? Remember why you fear the dark, Michael. Watch out. The darkness. It breathes. It watches. It waits. Beware of what lurks within. <clears throat> Sorry. Like, I could only hold that for so long. <clears throat> I won't be able to do that again if it comes back. Um, I just completely had something in my throat. Let's go. Get up, Michael. Oh, already looking hot. Oh yeah, get up, Michael. Ah, you moving a little too slow there, buddy. Come on, get that get that leg readjusted. Man, I know your ankle probably shattered. Oh, okay. Oh, the hit, dude. There's hand smudges on the glass. That's hard. Press escape to view the panel. Begin the chapter by finding the Freddy plush. You got it. I don't have a flush. Interactable objects. There are two types of interactable objects with distinct interaction methods. The first type, instant, allows interaction by simply pressing the left mouse button. The second type, press and hold, requires the user to hold the left mouse button. The required holding duration for press and hold interactions varies on the depending object, on the specific object. Huh. Yeah. If, yeah. I wonder if those pictures are from the dev, the dev's family. Like Scott did with his family. Ah, oh, this is a hold. Yeah. Cool. Jazz hits. I prefer MF Doom. Okay, type shift, type shift. Oh, it's C to crouch. I was pressing control to crouch. Oh. Fredbear's family diner. Reports indicate that one of the animatronics from the diner inflicted fatal injuries upon a child who was subsequent. Oh, I didn't mean to actually turn that off. Okay. I thought that was a hold object. 
Oh wow, where is this? Call John tomorrow, 2 p.m. 3358-4132. 584-2192. I just what numbers did I just read off that I completely just skipped over? I am not paying attention to myself clearly. Anyway, Freddy Plushy, right? Oh, I just smacked myself on the door on accident. Why is there so many flies? What's meatballs? And beer. Okay. Um, so, lovely house. Yeah, I, I get it. I hear that clock. Don't. Go from outside. What's that? Oh. Oh, this is a cool room. It's, it's a key. To the where though? Is it a chisel? Or is it a paint? Oh, it's a paint thing. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, I heard the footsteps and I thought maybe just briefly that I was cooked. Nope, not going in there. You have to be kidding me. Look, if this is a horror movie, I'm black, right? So theoretically, theoretically, I shouldn't go in there. Oh, this is the plush trap room. That's cool. <laughs> this is this is actually pretty cool. I like this. Because it makes that makes the plush trap room seem a little bit more feasible. Because initially it was just a corridor with like literally nothing and nobody has that in their house. Well, most people have that in their house. Okay, I think I remember this room from one of the videos. Oh my gosh. Hi. The centipede. Are you serious? I don't like bugs. Find a flashlight. You're kidding me. But it's dark. It is so painfully dark in here, though. So I wonder what type of lore, like, story basis this game will take up. I'm gonna, bro, I'm gonna turn this corner. Go down a step. Or something, bro. And I'm gonna see the nastiest creature I've ever seen in my life. Oh, found it. You found a flashlight. This item is used for illuminating, illuminating the dark area that like a light source. Press E. Nice arm. On a light bulb, we used to replace the bulbs and broken lamps, restoring them to full functionality. Keep an eye out for any damage like as you explore. Repairing them could be key to illuminating dark areas. Let me guess. Oh, wait. And interactable paper drawings. Focus. Holding down space puts the player into a focus state. Sharpening their hearing and allowing them to detect sounds beyond the physical world. The longer you focus, the louder these sounds become, so take your time when lunging in. The direction you're facing is crucial. Ensuring you're oriented, ensure you're oriented towards the area you want to concentrate on. Keep in mind the player remains immobile during the state, so choose your moments carefully. Follow the music. I literally don't hear anything. Oh yeah, that's clear as day.
When I pointed it up the stairs, it, I, I couldn't hear it. Like, it's crazy in there. What? I'm really trying to figure out where to go. Just making sure. I, um, I don't know if I watched through the full... Hold on. I can't hear. Something is coming from the left. Here? It is coming from in here. It's good to help you progress the game. I uh, don't see anything. Say. You are what? You are now you are not safe in the dark. The player's anxiety level gra gradually increases with prolonged exposure to darkness, creating a sense of escalating te tension. However, staying near a light source helps calm the player, reducing anxiety over time. The player icon serves as a visual cue for anxiety, with the icon becoming more visible as anxiety increases and fading out as it decreases, offering a t uh, clear indication of the player's current state. No. <gasps> what is that? What is that? What is that? Is he still in there? Repel. Find a camera. Oh, you're still in there, you big greasy weirdo. Go away. Get a job. You're literally in my house telling me to get out, dude. Like standing in my kitchen as if you own the place. No, 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 no. Keep that active. Keep that active. I think it's... <gasps> that scared the ever-loving Christ out of me. Hallelujah. You just everywhere? Are you literally just gonna look at me like that? You don't have to look at me like that. You know that. Oh god, that scared me. You know what? You <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Springtrap and Delilah. Like, uh, that old comic from, like, back in the day. Very far back in the day. Where's the camera? Like, 95% of the rooms here are inaccessible thanks to the big bear. So... Yeah. Oh. You're still here. Found it. That is such a cool panel. You found a camera. Press Q to equip it or unequip it. Hold R and B. Right mouse one. Stupid. 
Uh, hold right mouse button to release a bright flash, which can and repel the centipede. Repel Freddy. Oh, Frederick. Get over here, boy. Oh, sorry. I'm controls. Sorry. Frederick. Smile for the... No, 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 I want this. I, uh, I don't know where all the places he is, so... My interactable paper drawings. Pierce through the darkness. I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. Objectives. My nuts? Okay. You're right, game. I shouldn't go this way. Men like game. Stop. You just stopped me from getting the one note that was on the wall, and I was in front of it. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Pierce through the darkness. I'm going to abs I'm gonna pierce through something else in a minute. I keep hitting the wrong key. Focused flash method. Well, focusing and maintaining focus long enough, use your camera's flash while focusing them to reveal unseen figures or threats, allowing you to pinpoint their location. Keep in mind that the longer you focus, the sharper your senses become. Take your time to reach full focus for maximum effectiveness before using the flash. However, be cautious. Each use of focus flash slightly increases your anxiety. Uh... Follow my voice. Oh, you're gonna trick me, aren't you? Follow the voice, use the flash method. Crap. Bro, I can't just believe that. Nah, I'm fine. Intriguing. Okay, I'm in a state of full light, so I'm fine. Dang. Okay, I'll check upstairs first. Whoa. Flashed in this direction. <laughs> Real talk. It can go invisible at times. Watch out. Please, I'll be. Oh my God, God. Okay, this is the first game I have ever seen to make me wish I had a crucifix. The centipede has the ability to turn invisible at times. Play close attention to the sound cues as signal when this happens. Once he's invisible, stay highly alert. He can be anywhere near you, or he cannot be repelled while invisible. So focus on pinpointing his location and winning him instead. 
Okay, so you find him, he moves. He'll be visible. Oh. Follow my voice. Okay, well, last time you were in the thing, so I'm gonna assume that you're still in the thing, which isn't normal. Never mind. I literally wait, but I looked. I literally flashed the light and he wasn't there. Oh my god, I gotta do this all over. Follow my voice. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely in there. No way. This is really not good. Dude. I need like glow sticks or something, bro. Who's that? <laughs> okay, we'll go in there, but soon, first, first. Let me get, let me get some, some, some sanity. I just moved. I just gotta make absolute sure. I'm going back this way, and I am not going this direction. Ghost move locations. So did I get the f the second time or I heard it in that direction faintly. A presence of a ghost has been felt. This will increase your anxiety. Watch out. What do you mean a presence of a ghost has been felt? This is crazy. This might be the FNAF fan game. What is that sound? What is that? S what is that sound? Oh my god, why do you have a bottle of honey mustard down here? Is no one as scared as I am? I can't go. I literally can't. I can't leave this area. Look! There's no light! If I go out there and I flash, one flash and I'm sent to the ER. Aura, just straight aura.
Yo. That's that's like S tier aura right there. That's genuine aura. I know I'm I'm spamming the same emote, bro. I don't care. That was crazy. I look down the hallway and see death itself looking at me. That's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I did literally looked around for this the entire time and I, I didn't see it. Yeah, the editing on this video is going to have to go crazy. I'm not, this might not come out the day that this demo comes out. that direction <laughs> I'll check that bathroom but I don't I don't think it's in that bathroom you say if you guys say I'm a wuss Drop a subscribe while you're calling me a wuss, by the way. Just want to say that much. You think I'm a wuss? You're 100% right. But drop a subscribe while you do it. You don't get to be mean for free, guys. Come on. <laughs> don't lock me in here. You're so huge. What is your issue? Yo, I didn't even catch him. That's crazy. Wow, this might be the best. This might be FNAF's best villain. <laughs> God, I'm choked, bro. I legitimately don't know where he is. Bro, this is already making the video like... A little confused. <laughs> this way. <laughs> yeah, okay, I dude. All right, man. Uh, I'm not doing that again. Hold on. Let me see. How is it? Does it put me back at the other one? No, I'm not doing that again. Unfortunately, no, 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 no. That that was difficult. <laughs> Aside of it being scary, like insanely scary, 
Like the aura they gave Freddy in this one game is unmatched to any other game I've ever seen. This might be a top 10 in terms of the designs for let's go base by base here. Hold on. Let me let me go back to the main menu because it's going to the game is probably still playing. OK, let's go base by base here. This game's designs, character designs are phenomenal. Um, I've seen the screenshots for Freddy. I don't know if any of the other ones I'm a ch I'm literally checking as we speak. Um, I'm checking if the other characters have models. I'm pretty sure Bonnie has one, but it's been a while. Um, yeah, they all have one. OK, from what I saw, just solely from what's in game, Freddy's model is phenomenal. And I would go as far as to say it is the best FNAF design I have ever seen for the base roster. Um, of course, Deadline still lives dear to my heart, but the these designs are and I, I meant to say, well, you know, in terms of FNAF in general, by the way, Deadline is by some of the peak of FNAF de, uh, design. But this is a top three, top three best designs, period. Top, I think the best design I've ever seen for the base roster at all. And I've seen, of course, I've seen a lot of FNAF designs. These, the wow, they outdid it. The gameplay is very fun, actually. Uh, I know I said I felt like I was lost. I, I, I looked like I was lost, and I was kind of lost. Um, I think one thing I'll say is I do kind of wish that if there was, I feel like if you flash enough times after some time, or if you if you hold your flash fully, you should get like a brief, very faint outline of like where you should go. I feel like that would be helpful, but like for like a difficulty, if you want it like a difficulty mode, like you have to focus in and all, like all the way and listen and you get the um, like get like a red circle, like a very faint red ghost around the area because I sat there and I was flashing in the same direction. And a lot of the time I was in the rooms because I needed light desperately. And I think that's a really great mechanic, by the way, having to sit in the light in order to be OK. That is a phenomenal mechanic because it puts a, just that edge pause. But it puts that edge over just being scary and more into like you're rushing and you're bound to make a mistake because you're rushing. It's like, bro. This is peak. I like this. I like this a lot. This is going to probably be a top 10 horror game. I would say that Shadows Awaken, just from what we're seeing right here, is a top 10 horror game. And I haven't even finished. Um, I was assuming that you do it three times, but I didn't live long enough to get it to three times, apparently. So, um, but yeah, this game is phenomenal. I think... I think that the house is really cool. The designs, are, the design of the house is really cool. The layout is really nice. Um, I think one thing though I'd probably do is I would make it, and I, I don't know if this is a thing already in the game. It probably isn't, but again, for difficulty, if it was like a easy normal kind of thing, the same kind of thing where put a faint outline on Freddy. Or if you charge your your focus all the way up, I feel like that would be really cool. It'd be, it's also kind of helpful because I'm not going to hold you. At first, I was a little confused because I didn't know how it worked. But I got I got the hang of it. And when you get the hang of it, you start to focus more like focus more on like, you know, getting to the objective and having fun than trying to find ready, um, which I also still did. So whatever. But. The point is, is that this is a phenomenal demo and the team has done an amazing job with this game. Um, I will say right now that this has been the first time in a hot minute where I've spent an hour on a game and I've actually really enjoyed exp spending that amount of time. Like, I am shocked about how good this was, which I mean, I shouldn't be. This game was look, amazing when I saw it and I thought it was going to be confusing and I thought I wasn't re going to really like it going into it. I really did. I, I I introduced this game like, oh, it's Shadows Waken. And I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I actually ended up really liking it. Like, this is really good. This is scary. This is what FNAF needed, bro. It's just an actually scary game. And it, that isn't just running around from a running around, running, running away from AI the whole time. It's just this is something more than just you're running. This is you're you're running. You're hiding. You're seeking like this is. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the other characters. Um, I'm going to dread having to deal with more than just Freddy. Bo uh, Freddy. Uh, I don't know if there's any other characters in the demo. I might come back to it if this video does well, but we'll see. Anyway, not going to be talking, right? If you like this video, please. Make sure you like and subscribe, please. Show your boy some love. And more importantly, show the game some love. These guys deserve all of it. Um... Well, when I started uploading, the game jolt link wasn't available, but they put up a media fire, or not media fire, like, I think it's called like meta or something like that, but they put up a, uh, what's it called? Mega. Sorry, not meta. I'm stupid. Uh, a mega download. So you can go download it from there. I think I just saw that they have itch.io. So yeah. Um, if you guys enjoy this video again, like, comment, subscribe, please show you boys some love and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.